Hey, good morning. Welcome back to Central Ontario. I just found the best mouse trap I've ever used. Grab a coffee, let's get together and I'll tell you all about it and I'm going to show you how effective it is. Cheers. Hey, so if you have a cabin or you've got a cottage up in the forest or up north, or you just live in a rural area, you've got a mouse problem. I'm sure you do, same as I do. Since about a year after I built this place, I have had non-stop issues with mice in here. And you've got to expect that being up here in the forest. Chances are you've probably, similar to me, tried everything on the internet you can find to try to manage the problem, and they just keep coming. Most of them are poison-based, and in fact, about a year, year and a half ago, I finally broke down and got a pest control service to come in here. But again, the base programs they use are poison-based programs. And that gives you one of two issues. The mouse eats the poison, it will either expire inside the walls or the ceilings or the attic of your home, which leaves you with kind of a nasty odor for a long time or they actually go back outside and they expire, which means that, you know, being a main food source for a lot of the birds and different animals in the forest, such as fox or wolf, uh, the owls, hawks, etc., they're actually eating poisoned food for their dinner. So I got a call about a month and a half ago from a company called Automatic Trap. They said they've seen the channel and they asked me if I had a mouse problem here at the cabin. And I said, well, of course I do. Yeah, I don't think anybody doesn't. They uh, talked a little bit about uh, a product they have called the A24 Rat and Mouse Trap. It's made by a company out of New Zealand called Good Nature. And they said they wanted me to give it a try and review it on the channel. So I said, absolutely, I'd love to give it a try. The product is non-poison based. But what I said to them was, I've got a lot of longtime subscribers. I'm happy to do a review on the product. But on the condition that I'm going to do an honest review, I can't take any compensation for doing it. And so long as you're okay with the outcome, whether it's good or bad on the product, I'm happy to do the review. And on that basis, they sent me a trap. We're gonna head inside, I'm gonna open it up, I'm gonna show you what they sent me, and we're also gonna set it up and I'm gonna show you how effective it is. All right, let's head inside. Cheers. All right, let's see what they sent us. It's called the A24 Rat and Mouse Trap Kit. This is the kit that comes with a counter. You can also get it without a counter. It's made by a company called Good Nature out of New Zealand. It's been around for a long time and it's now distributed and sold in the North American markets by a company called Automatic Trap. And you can get a lot of stuff online, there's a number of videos, a lot of reference material if you want to look at this a little further. What I want to do today, I want to get it unboxed, take a look at the parts, take a look at the manual, put it together and get it to use down in the crawl space and we'll see how effective it is. Okay, comes with a manual or what they call a success guide. This will take you through a process to determine where the best place might be to place the trap, as well as goes through the parts, how to put it together and the like. Okay, trap comes with a few things. This is your do-it-yourself basket. So it'll come with lure, it comes with chocolate lure they call it. This comes with the trap and can be placed in the trap in the event you're in a geographic location or for whatever reason the mice in your area don't like the chocolate lure they give you. You can replace that with a do-it-yourself basket and put your own lure bait in. That's pretty handy. As I mentioned, this one comes with a counter. Uh, the counter is placed on the trap and that way if it's in an area where predators may take away the carcasses, this will at least give you an idea of how many times it's gone off and you know how many times it's done its job. It also comes with what they call uh, rodent detector strips, which you see above me, and I've already placed those down in the basement. That's why I don't have them here. The trap is triggered by a CO2 cartridge, and it's a special cartridge that has lubrication within the threading, which helps to keep the mechanism lubricated, and it came, comes with two of them. One here, and the second one here is held here in the front of the trap. And this is the trap. As I understand it, you take the shroud off, open your chocolate lure, follow the directions, then you screw the lure basket in the top. Once you have the trap set up, this mounting bracket simply slides off here. This way you can mount it to a tree or to a piece of timber or wherever it is that you think you want to put the trap. In my case, I asked them for the optional stand because I don't want to screw it into anything. I want to put it on the stand, that way I can move it around a little easier make sure I've got it different places that I can test it out. So let's discuss how it works. Very simply, you put your lure basket or your lure on the top. 
Your mouse is going to enter from the bottom. If you look down the shaft, you'll see there's a tiny little silver pin there. Your CO2 cartridge is connected into the end and what it does is it pressurizes this barrel and inside that barrel there's a ram. When the mouse comes up through the bottom, he's going to try to get to the bait. When he gets to that little silver pin and triggers that pin, the ram comes out with a deadly force. That's how it works. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it together. I'm going to use the stand. We're going to take it down to the crawl space, set it up, and then we're going to see how effective it is. The A24 comes with three of these toxin-free detection strips. Very simple, you take the strip, bend it in half, and you'll see that the non-toxic bait is inside and it squishes out a little bit. Basically, we're gonna take a, a screw, we're gonna screw it in each of the spots, and then we're gonna give it three days, just like the direction says. We're gonna come back down here and see if we can detect where the most activity is. That'll decide where we put the A24 track. got our trap we're down in the crawl space again this is the area that I'm gonna put it in first because I see some activity here and this is where I've had a lot of luck in the past it's just below the wet wall as we discussed so we've got the trap simple easy to clip onto the stand take your lure basket they said you should take a little lure out squish it up so that she comes out a little bit and place a little bit around the trap Kind of to lure in your mice. So I squirt a little bit on there. And we screw it down into the top here. Put our shroud back on. And we know we've got our trap ready. Take our CO2 cartridge, take the lid off. I'm going to screw the CO2 right up inside here. Okay. I just heard it pressurize, so I know it's released. And I've got the kit that comes with the counter. Okay, she's zeroed out. Okay, she's zeroed. And we're all set to go. Well, good morning. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. I wanted to wrap up the review on the mouse trap today. Just so you know, I've had this trap in operation for about four weeks now, and I wanted to stretch out the review a bit, little bit longer than I probably expected at the beginning, because before I decided to render a conclusion or an opinion on it, I wanted to make sure that I had given it enough time to actually test it to see if it worked reliably, you know, because you can throw something up for a night or two and it might work, but you don't know over a period of time whether it actually works consistently. And let me tell you, I am 100%, 100% sold on this mouse trap. Over the four weeks, I actually extended out the review and the test to not only be in my house, in and around my place, did it in the basement, did it within the house. I also took it down the street to my neighbor's place and tested it there as well. 
And I'm happy to report that throughout the four weeks, I had a game cam on it 24 seven, just to make sure, because I wanted to see if there were instances where mice would actually approach the trap, but not actually go into the trap. Or if in fact, every time there was mouse activity, it actually worked. And I can tell you, 100% reliability, every single time there was an interaction or activity with mice, that trap worked. No poisons, swift, deliberate, does its job, no mess, and it worked every single time mice encountered it in different locations. So with that being said, I'm definitely buying that trap, and uh, there's not going to be any more poisons. No more of these little electronic devices I spent a lot of money on that really don't work. And I'm going to start using that trap. From a financial perspective, this trap will pay for itself in about 14 months for me based on what I pay currently for a pest control service. And every six months they recommend you change the lure or you, and you change the CO2 cartridge. And from a cost perspective, it makes good financial sense for me. Hope you folks have enjoyed the video and I hope the review was informative. As I always say, if you like the channel, please click subscribe. Hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Thanks so much for sticking around, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.